plaintiff, Judea Evans, met the defendant at a party, and they started seeing each other because they had good chemistry. Judea claims four days after she bought a car from the defendant, the vehicle broke down and the defendant disappeared. She's suing him for breach of contract and transportation. Defendant Ray Pierre Davis says Judea was never his girlfriend, and he's only seen her three days in his entire life. Ray Pierre is countersuing because he claims Judea harassed him and threatened him with bodily harm. Start with you. Well, I met Mr. Davis at a party. Um, we were. How long ago? This was about in June. Okay. Uh, we had a lot of fun at the party. We was dancing, laughing, drinking, just having a great time. We were just having like a good chemistry. So much that he he was a gentleman. He made sure I got home safe and everything. So I invited him over. Um, I invited him to my house, like moving forward, mm -hmm. and I cooked for him. We had. You don't want to know about that first night. Oh, the first night. <laughs> Him, I want to know well, how obviously the first night. He didn't try to get none on the no, first night. No, 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 no. Man, well, he is a gentleman. He yeah. was a gentleman. He made sure I got home safe. Right. We had like a good time. I ain't talking about coming. getting home safe. <laughs> I'm talking about. No, 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 no. All no, right, no. <laughs> because that seems to be a measure of gentlemanness. Yes. Uh, is whether you try to ask or try to make your move the first night. Right, right, right. Be a gentleman. Uh, he he was a gentleman uh, moving right. forward. I so much he was a gentleman. I invited him to my house. Ooh. I cooked for him shrimp, shish kebabs, mm. massages, like, you know, the whole works. We were really yeah. like, you know, we were building something. I thought, you know, he had potential. Please, Move Lord, don't let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> said some things I don't know whether to say or not. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he had potential. My assistant says I have no filter. He's so always concerned about me. He think I'm like an old man going see now. <laughs> yeah, say whatever. Because I just blur stuff yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> That shouldn't be said. Right. <laughs> like when you tell me you was giving the man a massage, <laughs> did he have a happy ending? Uh oh. No. <laughs> See, I told you I shouldn't say that. I told you I didn't know. No. I wasn't sure. <laughs> but sure enough, I shouldn't have said it based on the audience response. Don't answer. I'm not. I shouldn't have asked. Stock it in. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> So Go ahead. He, so he told me his name was Sonny, but right as of now, I'm calling him Castle because I have not seen him. He's like a ghost to me. I haven't seen him since this situation happened. Well, we're here for court for now. But before, what happened? Uh, did you all break up before the incident? <sighs> we didn't break up, no. We were still talking. We were still, like, getting to know one another. Okay. We were still in the middle of, you June. know, building. Okay. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Sir, you give me some background about your association with um, well, Miss um, Judea, um, I met her one night. Um, basically, long story short, we she was I took her home after we went half the um, Uber. Um, we didn't really have we weren't that wasn't my girlfriend ever. You okay. know what I mean? But you know that was somebody I was talking to for a few seconds, and you know like it was kind of getting a little hectic to it because like the next week she was like yo. This is her voice. Yo. Um. <laughs> she didn't sound like that when I heard it. She didn't she was going Thank you, Your Honor. A bad That's impression. Like, I'm say, this is how she sound when she on the phone with me, though. Like, Yo. <laughs> so I'm about to go. Um, I, I got my nieces and nephews. I know you got daughters and all that. You trying to pull up. I'm getting oh, I'm like, what? You talk like the mob? No. <laughs> I cooked for him. We had shit. No one knew about that first night. Oh, the first night? <laughs> talking about, I don't want to know well, obviously, the gentleman. first he night. Didn't try, he didn't try to get none on the no, first night. No, 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 no. no, no well, he no. is a gentleman. Plaintiff Judea Evans says she and the defendant went on several dates, but the defendant insists they never dated, and he's only seen Judea three times in his entire life. Go ahead. She was, to, she was trying to go to um movie theaters with my daughters. I don't even know one enough to bring my then daughters around there and all that. Okay. So, you know, it was a little, little bit extreme right there. But, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy like that. But I hung out with her probably like once after that. That was really it. it how many times serious. were you all uh, dating and seeing each nah, other? No, it wasn't no dating, no situation. How, many, like how often did you see her? How many times did you see I her saw since three June? times in my life. Three times? Three times in my life. Is that life. true? That is not true, that Your is Honor. True. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I stay like a day. Times. So me, if me staying a day extra, right. may mean another day. Still but can, me yeah. going there, three coming three times. together. Yes. 
that is not true, Your Honor. How many you think it was? About 10, 12, 13 times, 14 There's times. No way in the world. I ain't even have enough time. Well, to do there's that. no way in the world. It's this not, is a nice young lady. I don't, have enough, class. Time. I don't have enough time to do that. <laughs> How okay. many women you run around with? I don't, right. I, That's why. What? I have, stop. I, I have a girlfriend, so I couldn't oh. do that. Oh, now he has a girlfriend. You're thinking about dumping her or cheating on her? I'm cheating on her. She know I'm cheating on her. <laughs> no matter. Okay. At least he's honest. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. Tell me what happened here that caused you to sue. Um, he sold me a car. Um, be before all this happened, I gave him money to fix a battery in the car. He told me to give him $150 to fix the battery in the car. So fix or buy a new one to f to basically buy, buy a, new a new one and put it and in. And then he would give me the car. That's what he told me. He was going to give me the car. I didn't see him for a week after that. A whole week went by seven days. OK, no problem. Now the car has another problem. Spark plugs or the tire was flat. This is what he told me. So he asked me for another thirty dollars. I gave it to him, sent it to him. Oh, I'm going to bring the car. I'm going to bring the car. Never brings the car. How did he get the thirty dollars from you? I sent it to him on his cash app. Well, his cash app account. Why would you give a man more money before he completes the first job? <sighs> it, manipulation, you I guess. You must have went through more than three times. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, I finally get the car. The car breaks down in four days. We wrote a promissory note saying if the car would break down or if anything would happen, he would give me back half the money or he would fix the car, which he signed. Let's see it, please. Yes. Why half? Um, half because, you know, I was basically trying to help him out because he... If the man take 100%, why right. would you only get half? You went through there about 20 times. So right. You take the more money and she uh, say, give me all, half the promissory back. note never had anything to do with anything about give it half back or anything. The promissory note was about basically what I was going to do to fit... If any problems was going on with this car, I said I was going to put in a few more... More, more, a few more things to fix it up, help you out. And it should say on there that she will be patient. So long story short... I will give patient. him time That's, to says, get yes, things says done. It says be patient. Right. right, so uh, the Monday, the Monday the car was sold on a Monday. July 15th, yeah. It's a Monday. The 19th, she going crazy. So <laughs> I, I told her on the Monday, like, listen, my, my mechanic that she says is fake, which he isn't, because I had the text and all that that says that he's, that he's out of town because his cousin had passed away and he had to handle something. I think you need to stick to that clause. I will give him time to get things done. That was July 15th, and she called you July 19th? No, she, yeah, she went to the 19th talking about the car doesn't work now. I, that, you already drove it for five days. No, uh, we go from the 15th. I was the fifteenth. The fifteenth was the day I told her that uh -huh. I was. I when was going to next say, "Where my car?" I'm gonna bug you about it. <laughs> so she said that like on Friday. When, but I already told her on Monday. I have a text saying it that my friend is out of town. He can't fix it. So this what week. was your response on Friday? My friend wasn't back yet. He, he, he had okay. A... Did you say I didn't have time? Yeah. Enough time. No, I told him. I told him that my friend is not. Okay, so okay. she was, you're you're assuming she would understand that as meaning. Especially I by saying had you're going to be patient. Time. If you're saying you're going to be patient, yeah. that's, that's that's patience. And what do you say to this? This was July so 15th, basically... and it does say that you will uh, give him time. Yeah, when I gave him time, he kept giving... Four days. I, no, I gave him more than four days. When did you contact him next? I contacted after the him after the 15th, the 23rd. I have dates up until probably no, like the, the first end time of that you contacted him yeah. after July 15th. Right. Do you have that communication? Yes, I do. Actually. And what date was that? The first time I contacted him, it was. Actually, it was the 19th. It was a, Just like right. he said. I know how this goes. It's not my first time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is what people do. Right. When I read something off and they got a stack, they usually hand it to me. You're nice enough not to hand it to me. <laughs> and say, go through it and find it yourself, Judge. <laughs> in there <Yeah>. somewhere. <laughs> it's in there somewhere, right. <laughs> so you provided it. Four days later, you asked him. You told him you would give him time. That's the thing. He told me that he was... I have a text here saying he told me he would fix it on the 23rd, which sometime has passed. Let me see what you have there. And when people are evasive, it's because they're, um, they're, they're, they don't feel their position is strong enough. Why would you give the man more money before he completes the first job? <sighs> it, manipulation, you I must guess. must have went through more than three times. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Plaintiff Judea Evans says she and the defendant went on several dates, but the defendant insists they never dated, and he's only seen Judea three times in his entire life. I'm just mad because it's not perfect. 
a few things it will be, but still moving better than before. Yes, but you need to fix it. We know. The brakes are mad bad on this car. Okay, I never seen that, but okay, I'll change them. He said he'll do it. He's already asked you for time. And then three days later, you really, you're going in on him. Right. The reason three days is not enough time. When you tell somebody you're giving them some time, that you don't mean three days. I mean a reasonable amount of time. When there's no specific, that means a reasonable amount of time. And I would interpret something like this as about two weeks. Well, it usually takes about five days on average. Sounds like he was dealing with a bootlegger. So it's going <laughs> to take two weeks. <laughs> so it was going to take two weeks. But yeah, ma'am, I mean... So what happened after that? Did he ever agree to give you all your money back? He did actually say in a text that he would give me the money back and that he will fix it. Let's see it, please. Mm -hmm. Where's that? Here? Right here. Okay. Sir, now we might have a problem if you went back. Well, well, did he agree to it? Let's see. How dare you do this to me? You're gonna pay on my grandma grave. He says, I ain't do S to you. I told you I would fix it. You couldn't wait. So you getting the money back. That's that. He tells you that and you say, you a real bum for this S. I should have never, you going off on him and the man just told you he's going to give you all your money back. Right. Right. Okay. And the Uber rides, what is that about? So after he never like came to even check on the car or fix the car or anything that he promised that he told me he was going to do, I ended up having to go to work paying Uber because I literally got a new job and I could not be late to my job. She and the reason why I bought I'm the not, car... I'm not going to accept that, ma'am. You told him he had a reasonable amount of time and so he, you didn't give him that. Um, your counterclaim for 1500 how does she owe you for also, her after? Also, Your Honor, every single day I was getting texts about harassment about she gonna bring her brother to come beat me up or something like that. I have all these texts and all that. Um, Ma'am, is you threatening? I did not threaten him. I, I has all the threats have. right here. Oh, let me just grab the right one. We gonna come get this. Right. Oh, let me get you scared. This shit. I'm coming to Queens right now, me and my brother. So it has all the You threats. gonna end up paying. <laughs> I'll be in Queens stranded now, this is you. The car's still not starting. Can you get someone to fix it? It's not working, G. It's not starting at all. It's all good. I got you. Me and my brother be on the way, on, we on our way over there later. He says, like I said, I got you to fix, to get it fixed. He's still telling you after you didn't veil, after this veiled threat. He's and I also you have where she was. Um, he's going to fix it. All this man has ever said to you is, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. And I also have where she told me I can keep the money and keep the, and get the car. Let's see that. This is before all this other... Nah, that, was, that was on the 19th. That was on the 20th. But you never fixed the car. You're dead. You're not worth it. What does that mean? It's a term like you're serious. Like, I'm going to come over... No, you're That's dead. Not you're not like, worth it. Not worth him. what? You're not worth me arguing with you about the situation. Arguing, we want yeah. to talk about the situation. Oh, it's not. It is worth arguing over. You know that's worth arguing over, that money. You're talking about doing something to him like this veiled threat. You're trying to reinforce your veiled threat, and that has cost you money. 1000 for you, your claim for these threats, and your claim is uh, dismissed. Have a good day. I hope no. everything's well with her. That's it. No Thank problem. You. No, cold world.